My name is Rosa Sanders. My son's name is Kevin Anthony Sanders. Anthony was um, my firstborn son. Um, I had him really young, got a high school. He's just a great kid. Um, Anthony was just um, always smiling, laughing. He was a great big brother. My, my daughter, um, there were two, uh, six year difference, six year difference between them two. Um, loved baseball, basketball, real jokester, um, great personality. It's always making everybody laugh and, and, and love sports. Anthony was a really lovable kid. Um, I just remember him growing up always playing, um, he loved video games, always playing his Xbox or the Nintendo, his Game Boy. Loved sports, loved sports. Uh, he played for the Little League, uh, Little League when we lived in Lions. Um, he played uh, baseball and, and then basketball as well, football. He would go to Robinson School and um, play football with the other kids out there, with the other boys. Then um, in Cicero, he would play uh, basketball over there as well at the Cicero Stadium at Warren Park down the street. He was always on the basketball court playing or he was on the basketball team at the Cicero Stadium, always, um, you know, versus the other team. and. He usually won. Yeah, he just loved, loved sports, very good at sports. Um, my son was murdered on, on November 22nd, 2010. It was the evening, about five, a little after 5 p.m. Um, I was at work. Um, I got a phone call from uh, my daughter. She was eight at the time saying there was a lot of police, a lot of um, ambulance everywhere. You know, I figured we, my mom and dad lived uh, next door, a next door neighbor was an elderly lady. I thought maybe it was a little something was, was sick. The lady was sick next door. Came home, pulled up and um, was uh, greeted by the, the detectives and saying, are, are you Kevin Anthony's mom? I said, yes, you probably want to sit down for this. I said, no, I'm fine. You know, what happened, you know, to my son? thought maybe he was just hurt or you know he got beat up and never thought that he was there laying in the alley in the back of my mom and dad's house a couple houses down in the alley still with the school uniform on his polo shirt and his khaki pants from school um he was gone he's gone he was murdered he was killed just in shock I was in shock I couldn't believe that it happened just um I froze, I was numb. I mean, it's my firstborn child, 15 years old. To hear that kind of news, I might as well died with him that night, that evening. It's a day that I'll never forget, 10 years later now, when time, you know, it's like 10 years passed, but I remember everything like it happened yesterday. Can't believe in ten years my time time for me is at a standstill. Even though ten years passed, I remember everything like it was yesterday. I want to say to my child killer, your day's gonna come. Your day's gonna come. God saw everything. God saw everything, and um, you know what you did. God forbid it if it happens to you, if you have a child, a son or a daughter, and if they get murdered and so it's a, it's a cycle if, if you're if you're out there still in the streets, you know, murdering other people, kids, it's a vicious cycle. It's going to catch up to you sooner or later.